Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. So today's project is going to be this um, stainless steel coffee mug. I have been wanting to do one of these for a while and um, I actually found these blanks on Amazon and I'll put that link below in the description. Um, got these in and I just love them. So uh, the only thing I've done to prep this cup was um, I did a wet sand with 400 grit paper to just break that um, finish that is on the um, mug and then washed it with warm water and Dawn dish liquid soap and spray painted it with um, some matte white spray paint and it was a uh, crayon I believe but um, I will put all that in the description as well and then I am using the fro rizzle resin which is a one-to-one -one ratio and I'm going to do the epoxy method on this cup so I'm just making sure that the epoxy is covering the entire um, surface of the mug getting up under the handle and over the handle on the sides and all around the tops and bottoms of the cup and once I get it all on here I'm going to use my uh, torch and just kind of warm it up a little bit so that uh, the resin is smooth before I add my base color of glitter and um, this little silicone bowl that I'm using um, these are great because you could just let the resin cure in there whatever little bits left and um, and believe me I don't leave much in there <laughs> resin is too expensive but you can let it cure and then um, it just peels right out wipe it out with a little bit of alcohol and you're good to go um, also wanted to say I use the wet sanding paper because um, it does not leave uh, dust ridgels in the air and um, I work in my home I have a home studio here so I just don't think that that's really healthy to have all that flying around so I use the wet sandpaper um, now I'm going to add my glitter and this is from glitters designs by two and this is UV glass slipper and it is a gorgeous gorgeous very fine glitter and it will work really well on this project um, when I start sprinkling it, it's going to just lay down into the resin and give me a fairly smooth surface. And once it cures and I put the next coat on there, then um, it, I won't have, a, if any, sanding to do whatsoever because it's a very fine glitter. And I do see where I have a couple of pieces of... Uh, bigger glitter in there that are chunky glitter from a previous project and I'll show you what I do to fix that as well so I'm just I have a catcher paper underneath my cup so that any of the glitter that does not um, stay on the surface of the mug will fall on that and then I could put it back into my um, bag of glitter and save it for another project and that's probably how those little pieces of chunky glitter got in there but so all I do is I just remove them very carefully with um, either tweezers or exacto knife and I will slow the video down at the end of glittering this so that you can see exactly how I do that and then I just save my glitter it's just too expensive to um, just throw it away and so I saved it and I put it into a small container one of my little mixing medicine cups and uh, tilted my 
turn her up a little bit and sprinkled the bottom. And here is where I'm going to remove that chunky piece. And then uh, just carefully pat the glitter back down into the epoxy. See right there, that's all you have to do. And then don't leave it your turner still for very long because um, if you do, uh, your epoxy will move and you may have like um, a ridge or a drip or something on the other side. So make sure that you don't leave it still for very long. So here we're going around and I know there is one more piece of chunky glitter that is on the handle at the base. So I'm going to get my exacto knife and then I'm going to um, stop the, the uh, rotisserie or the turner and um, get that off right here. So just take the exacto knife, just lift the piece of offensive glitter <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a little bit of glitter off of my catch paper and just gently tap it into that space and then voila we'll let it go and i'm going to clean my space up and we're going to let this turn and then we'll come back and get ready for our next step of um, designing the cup so it's been 24 hours now and i am going to use some alcohol inks on here to Put a design on and I don't want to drip the uh, alcohol directly onto the cup or um, use a sponge I want to have a little bit more control because I want to create a geode look and um, I'm using uh, pinata magenta alcohol inks right here and I put it into one of my little mixing uh, medicine cups and I will put the link to those below I get these off of Amazon as well and um, I am just using a kind of a fine tip paintbrush to actually paint the design that I want onto the surface of the tumbler and this way I can control how much actually goes onto the cup. I won't have any runs or drips that I have to clean up. And alcohol ink dries very, very fast. So in this medicine cup, if it dries up, then I could just add some 91% alcohol and let it sit there for just a second or two and it's right back to where I can use it. And it's starting to dry up right here. I'm just trying to get that um, first line of the geode. Uh, I am going to be using um, the magenta, and then I use Passion Purple by Pinata, and then I use Turquoise by Marabou. And uh, then for the very outer edge, I use Stone Coat Countertop Gold Dust, and that is an epoxy uh, pigment. But um, I mixed it with a little bit of the 91% alcohol and made my own uh, gold ink that I put on the very edge, outer or outer side of the geode. So I'm going to speed this up here because I know you don't want to set and because it actually did take me an hour to get my design on here. And uh, don't want to lose y'all. Want you to stay and see what it actually looks like. And so the 91% alcohol does thin the color a little bit. So I just, when it starts looking like it's thinning, I just add another drop or two of the ink out of the bottle so that I can maintain the depth of that color of that ink. And I'm going over the edge of the bottom. I want to, um, carry the design over 
that away. And I'm bringing the um, geode really close to the mug handle, but um, I'm doing that on purpose. I really wanted to incorporate the handle into the design as well. So now I'm using the um, Passion Purple. And this is a gorgeous alcohol ink. I love the depth of this, of this particular purple. And this is a uh, pinata also. And you can still see with the alcohol inks, you can still see the um, glitter of that glass slipper below. Um, I think it's gorgeous. It's going to leave that sparkle. And let's start the other side. And you can see where on the handle I, um, I am also going to uh, do the design onto the handle as well. And now we're working on the gold. I've already put down the turquoise. The turquoise was the Marabou um, ink. And that's another color that I really like. Now for this gold, I use the Stone Coat countertops mixed with the 91% um, alcohol. And uh, it is a perfect, perfect color for this tumbler. Um, I like that gold dust uh, in resin. And this is the first time I've actually mixed it with alcohol ink. And um, I think it turned out really great. I really like uh, how it is giving some uh, added design element here. I think it brings the whole cup together. And then um, I am going to uh, put something in the very, very center where all the white is. But uh, I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm just taking that gold over the bottom of the edge of the cup, and I'm sorry that I'm I'm uh, kind of off screen. I tried to uh, keep it where y'all could see, but I wasn't able to see myself, so I couldn't design it. Alrighty, so now I'm ready to do the center of the geode, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mod Podge and I'm just going to paint the Mod Podge down the center of the uh, mug of the geode and then I'm going to be adding um, this Bling It Chunky Fool's Gold and this is uh, by Color Art and I will link their website below. Um, I love Leslie's products. She has some wonderful stuff. And uh, this is the first time I've used this Chunky Mica um, for, uh, of the Fool's Gold. I've used the big Mica flakes that she has and um, it is some really gorgeous stuff. So I think this is going to be perfect for the center of this mug. And um, I'm just going to paint this on here, get a nice little coat going, and then I'm going to sprinkle those um, chunks of mica in here, but I want to make sure that it lays as flat as I can get it so that my um, layer of resin will cover it and it won't be poking up, but will actually kind of look 3D-ish, but will be uh, flat. So I'm just pressing it into the Mod Podge, and then I'm using my uh, other brush here to brush away any extra that um, falls to the side. The um, chunks of the uh, mica flakes want to stick to the um, resin and it's not that the resin is sticky it's just that it's a smooth surface and um, those little tiny flakes want to stick 
so I just use my um, brush there to wipe them away the ones that I'm not going to keep on the cut and also I wanted to point out that I'm keeping a, a glove on my left hand while I hold this cup and that is to um, prevent me getting oil all over the cup. I'm going to resin this with the next layer of resin and uh, I don't want to have to uh, clean it again because I might lose some of my uh, mica chunks there. So just adding this top layer of resin and this is Fro Rizzle again. One to one ratio and I uh, used 15 mils. Going to heat it up and make sure that it um, flows and, and has no bubbles and covers the cup really good. So I know that I'm going to be doing another layer of resin. So the most thing that I'm concerned about at this point was just getting right there in this area where I want to put my water slide. There's a couple little places that um, the resin did not completely cover. It does have a layer. It's just very, very thin right there. So I'm going to put my water slide right here. And um, I love this little thing. It's so sweet. And it, the colors go perfect with this cup. And I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, this is where I want my decal to go. And I think it'll be perfect right there. So i um, got my water over here and I'm just going to dip my water slide into the water and you will see it curl up. And I just leave it in there for just a couple of seconds to allow the carrier paper to get good and saturated. And then once I do that, I take it out and just hold it in my hand and um, while I'm letting that set and and do its work I'm going to wet the surface of the cup and make sure that it has a nice coating of water on there and then I'm just going to gently work with the water slide and just kind of pull the edges back a little bit until it lays flat in my hand and then once it gets flat then I'll dip it back into my water and then that will re help release the water slide from the carrier paper. I've just found this is the easiest way for me to do it. I've tried it several different ways and there's some instructions that say leave the water slide for 60 seconds in the water and when I did that the it really compromises the the um, surface of the water slide by leaving it saturated in that water for that long and you can see it's already separating here from the carrier paper so this way just works for me um, other people may do it a little bit different um, but uh, this is just how I do it. So I'm not saying it's right or wrong or the way other people do it is right or wrong. It's just whatever works. So I'm going to lay this one down right here. And I want to uh, get the design as much on the white as I can because the colors are so similar to the alcohol inks that I'm using. I don't want to lose the design into the the background of the inks. So you see how easy that slipped off of that paper. It, I just pulled it out. <laughs> and now I'm just going to get it positioned. Uh, the purpose of putting the water on the cup is so that you do have a little bit of work time to get your water slide straight, uh, positioned where you want it and how you want it and then um, then it will stay right 
right where it's at once you get it uh, in place. And I think it looks good right here. I like it. I can see the whole design. And I am right handed, so um, this is going to be my cup. <laughs> and when I'm drinking from it, you'll be able to see all that design on showing on the uh, opposite side from where I'm drinking from. And next, just to make sure that you get all the water out from underneath the um, water slide, you're, I just use my silicone brush and I have dipped it in my water to make sure that it was would glide smoothly over the surface of the water slide because I don't want to tear it. And I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure, just basically letting the weight of the brush itself do the work and I'm moving the water anywhere I see um, a little bit of water underneath there and you can see it um, there'll be a little like a little spot that moves you know and uh, just pushing that water out to the edges and then once I get all the water out then I make sure that the edges are laying flat because I don't want uh, the resin to get under there and maybe lift the decal away. I haven't had that problem with any of the water slides that I've done, but I don't want to tempt fate either. <laughs> so I do make sure those edges are flat. And I like it right here. I think it looks great and it's ready for its last coat of resin. Again, I'm using a fro rizzle and it is one to one ratio. And I'm using 15 mils again. And making sure that it gets coated all the way from top to bottom, beneath that handle, over the top of the handle, the sides of the handle. And uh, then I'll apply a little bit of heat so that the resin will level out, self-leveling anyway, but um, when you add the heat, then the, it just moves where it needs to get that smooth surface. And I am really ticky about working it, working it, working it. Sometimes I think I overwork it, but um, I'm after that smooth look. And voila, here she is. I think she's gorgeous. I love her. She's beautiful. And the colors are perfect. You can see the design. And I just... I'm so happy. The design over the handle just brings it together in that in the chunky fool's gold there in the center. I just think it's great. <laughs> and I hope you have enjoyed this video. And um, if you have, please like and share. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that now and ring that bell. You'll get notified when I upload future videos. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I love to hear your feedback. And all of that helps my channel grow. And um, I so appreciate you taking your time to watch what I do and um, help me grow as well. So this is the top of these little mugs and it has a um, open and close. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to use it. It's going to be great. It's going to be my companion now. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for joining me today. And I hope to see you in my next Creative Escapade. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.